Hey there, welcome back and thanks for joining me. All my supplies and equipment are down in the description box and they have links or you can visit my Amazon store and I do get a small percentage of what you order from there but there's no extra cost to you so thank you for that support. And if you like this video, hit that subscribe button. If you wanna be notified when videos come out, hit the notification bell and the likes are very important. YouTube likes to see those so they'll know if you like the content of the videos and comments and questions are welcome. Okay. I tried painting today. It wasn't happening. It just wasn't happening. Just, yeah. So, <laughs> today is blooper card day. Here's card. This isn't too bad to be honest. But, you know, I still think it'd be a cool card. I glittered it. <laughs> Can you see? Anyway, so I'm going to go through some of these that, well, they're not good enough to do much of anything else with. So, let's go through these and pick out a couple that we're going to work on. Okay, here's my long card. Love it. Okay, that's, this is one, obviously. Wow, love that. Cool. All right, so this is going to be one. This one will not be hard to do. Now, here's an interesting, don't like that. Now, I did cut out the size of my picture. Now, I have three measurements, and they'll be down in the description box. I've got too many pictures. So anyway, um, yeah, all my measurements for my cards are down in the description box. I have a measurement for the card, for the mat, and for the picture. So those are the three things that I tend to go by. Now, I know I'm recapping. We already said yes to that one. This one, definitely a yes. Um, not so good. Tall. There. There's the shot. I will put some glitter. I don't know why I like doing that, but I like the silvery glitter glue right there in the middle just to add something different for the card, a little dimension. So I will add that to that after I make it though. Oh, this one, I'm going to have to finish that center, but this was one I played with mixing colors and not great for a picture, but it's great for a card. And you can see that right there is going to be really cool. Um, not so much this one, but yeah, the other one. Now I've got these if, where I've drawn them out. They're a little bit bigger, so it gives me a little wiggle room, but that gives me an idea of what they're going to look like in a tall card, a 9x4, or a 4x6. This is one of my pictures. Now, it's not done anything on Etsy. Um, I give them a little chance on Etsy for a little while, and if they don't sell as pictures, they go into cards. This one is going to be perfect for two big cards. You could do, almost do three this way if you really wanted to, but I'm going to do two big ones. And ooh, that one, that one is obviously that. Yeah, so that's a, nothing much to do on it because I did paint it for a card. And this one, I need to put some glitter up here. I've kind of done that. I don't know why I, I abandoned this one. It was, I don't know why, but I did. So center's pretty fun but I really like coming off of it just a little bit. Now my stems, I do a little bit of green, a brown, and some yellow on it, just kind of mix them up a little bit so they're not just a stark green. But yeah, this one I will put glitter on after I finish it too. So let's do this one, that one, and this. The biggest difference in each of these, because it's generally the same thing in making the card, is the border. What we're going to do for the border, if we're going to do a border. So, uh, like this one, you know, you could do a little bit of brown for it, but we'll we'll figure those out and get these done. So let's do this one first. Now I've already put it on here, marked it. I've got little dots in each of the corners. And I love these little things because I can really line this up, get it straight here. 
Now that is right on it. I'm going to come out a little bit more to cut the dots off. And this one. Now, <laughs> I cut my dot off, so I don't know where the top is. So let's, right there it is. Okay. Now, this is a little bit lower than a nine. So there's nine inch. Sorry, you probably couldn't see. Let me scooch up just a little bit. Okay. So, here's my nine inch. My mat is usually a half inch smaller and then the picture itself would be around an eight but this is going to be some wiggle room i could go ahead and cut this off and i might but i kind of want to see a little bit too so we've got this one cut out keep these you never know and the next one i have those marked so I'm going to go ahead and trim those up. Let's see. Okay. I had it upside down so I couldn't find my Thanks, there's one right there. And for handy reference, look, I got my cheat sheet. So for an A6, which is a four by six card, my picture needs to be a five by four. So at this point, I can also rely on it. So it would be maybe there. Okay. So this has got to be a five by four. So right now I need to cut some of this side off. This is a five and then I'm going to cut some of this side off. I really want to take some more of this one. This is where I'm saying leave yourself some wiggle room to make those calls after you start getting it cut. So there's that. And then let's take this one. Now this down here is a three and a half by eight. So I know at this point, right there's three and a half. And then I'm going to do that. Then I'll turn around and make this my eight. And I really want to leave some of that at the very end. So now I need to study what looks best. That's about an eight and a half. So I still, I'm gonna have to cut some of this off. Now, so there's that one, that one, and this one. All right, now, 
I'm going to also use my photo paper to cut my border. So my A10, which is my uh, nine by four cards, my mat or border, if you want to call it, is 3.75 by eight and a half. So there's eight and a half. And 375. There's one. There's two. So see, those are going to fit like that. And this one's tall. So I'm going to have to cut this off. There's my eight. There we go. It's going to fit on like that. Okay, so there's those two. This one, the mat is five and a half by 4.25. Five and a half by four and a quarter. Now, this one, I'm really close on these sides, so I've got to get rid of some of that, which is going to be that side. Now, much better. Okay. So there are those. Now for our cards. Okay. So normally you would go ahead and cut your card out the same way. So this one is going to be an eight by a nine you fold it this way and you got your four by nine and for the a6 it is nine by six and a quarter so cut nine and six and a quarter this way I just butt it up against this fold it and that squares your card up for you there you go. Now, let's go ahead and work on that one. So, we're going to have to find a mat to go on this. And because I'm using the same paper, I could either take this ink and spread it around, or I can find a marker. For my markers, I use the photo paper to make my swatch. So, I can sit here and pretty much run this over here and find a color that I'm going to like. And I really like that. So, let's, let's get that one. Okay. And that happens to be the Copic V12. So, what I'm going to do here... Is I am going to color around the border. Now I'm not real peculiar on if there's lines. I just want the color down. And look at the difference in the color. It's different on the stock than it is the photo paper. So you want to do your swatches on whatever paper you're going to be using these on. If I was using stock, then that's the color I needed to go for. Okay. Okay. I got my cutter off. I didn't need that anymore. So here is the background, the mat. Here's my picture. What I'm going to do is I take my picture, and I do double-sided tape. It works well. It's fast. I don't have to wait for it to dry. You can also use those little blue dots, which are really cool. I just opt for this. Now I take this. 
And I have to stand up and get it straight. There we go. Then I take my card. Now, here is something that you should do. Somehow, stamp your stuff. Mine says, Made with Love, Scary Hair Lady Art. So, I am going to put that right here in the center. Make sure it's primed up good. There. Now, there's that. I take this. And if you get over a little bit, just fold it back. Okay. My phone keeps cutting off, sorry. All right, there is that. Look how cool. Isn't that pretty? All right. Okay. So again, get my swatch out. Run through and see what. Now, because this is blown out and thinned out, it's a little odd of a color. And you may decide to not put a border. So I might can go for that. Hmm. So that if I want that purple, and I kind of do, it's that same one we used on the other one. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> Let's go for that. Make sure I had the right side. get much easier than that <laughs> and you don't have to keep a lot of colors on hand you just need your markers so there's that so Now, I don't worry that I'm farther over one side than the other because this is a handmade, hand-painted card. So, we don't worry about those things. Is that one take your stamp and there we go cute cute now next one this is the one I'm thinking I'm gonna struggle with so let me look at colors oh that one's not bad would not have thought that or I could go for a darker, or I could just do black. Wow. Would black work? Hmm. There's your dark brown. You know what? What do we have to lose? Paper. Marker.
like I say, I like the lines that these markers cause. And I kind of want something rounded. So I'm going to go back over this a little bit because I have made them stripey. There we go. Let that dry. Okay. little dramatic, aren't we? Wow, that is cool. Now we've got these stamps in the Amazon store. You can look at those in there. I've also ordered them. Um, I don't know. You can get stamps a lot of places. But yeah, self-inking. All right, there we go. I mean, how cool is all that? All right, I'm going to go glitter up, and then I'll show you. Ah, let's just glitter right now. Okay. No, this is not my... This is... Nope. Ah, here we go. I love this. This is from Ranger. <laughs> it is... Uh, mm, doesn't have a color, really. I guess it's a lot of different colors. Anyway, it's pretty cool. It's got a little bit of greenish in it. So I like that a lot. And all I do is go in and do this. I let it stay bumpy. I let it stay textured. I don't smooth it out. So however it sits, it sits. It's really cool. So there, that is what I do. So stick Blurs. I'll have to put that in there because I do not have that. Can you see? How cool, how cool is that? <laughs> oh. And then here's the one that's already been done. So you can see it still has that same effect. So, all right. Go have some fun with some cards and brighten people's day. Y'all go have fun and God bless.